outside, right where I like to be. Just setting myself up for a nice early morning jumper. That's how we get that done, boys. Uh, how's it going, guys? Jamison Norman here with my uh, 2021 season in the bag for another round of disc golf, also known as the uh, Charlotte MA3 uh, World Champion uh, of the World. So there's that for you. Let's start off with uh, putters. I know pigs are typically just an, an approach disc, but they're a, a multi-tool and a weapon in my bag. Um, I got this real kind of flat top one that's more overstable. And then I have this super cool sort of domey pig that just kind of glides forever. Um, any putt really out of the circle, um, any sort of jump putting, uh, any uphill putts or putts with any sort of wind really involved, actually dropped from a, like a classic putter and I, I putt with pigs. A little unorthodox, but it works for me. Um, I recently made the transition from the Luna Life uh, to the uh, Streamline Pilot. Um, I absolutely love them. Uh, the Lunas were just kind of kicking up and rolling away a little bit too much. And uh, I love the little micro bead. Um, so I bag a soft one uh, and then a little bit more firm one. So this one's a little bit more uh, overstable. It's going to finish left, bites through the wind a little bit more. And this one I can kind of manipulate any way I want. Um, I do bag a Page Pierce Spears. Um, I only really use this disc as a scramble anytime I'm sort of pinched off on the right side and I need a, a big anti backhand to get myself out of trouble. That's the disc for me. Um, got the five time Luna here, the Punk Best Five Time Luna. Um, I absolutely love this disc. Um, long bombs just kind of sort of flips up, will kind of fade back a little bit and just finish strong. Gets great distance too, but almost effortless to throw. And then the last. I have one more, but uh, so I got a Ringer GT in Z Flex, newly stamped, newly signed. Um, for me, this Ringer GT is just like a, it's like a slower buzz. You can just really rip on it. It's just gonna go straight. It's gonna finish straight. Uh, doesn't really kick up on its side for uh, any like drastic rollaways. Just sits flat and it's so gummy it just kind of sticks to the dirt. Um, through mid ranges or one more one more approach. Uh, so I recently started bagging this as well. Um, shout out to Dan Brooks Wells. Uh, this is a proxy. Um, I, I absolutely love this thing. Uh, my friend Bobcat Buckley put it in my hands. He said, this this thing, it, it's a bomber putter. It's just gonna go and go, throw it. And sure enough, I threw it and it went and went. Um, so this uh, this disc has, has made the bag and, and it has exceeded all expectations, broken me from actually uh, an all disc craft bag. Now I bag quite a bit of MVP, which you'll see. Uh, so here I got the uh, Tour Series Buzz. Um, for me, it's just real firm. Uh, it's more overstable. Um, I could trust its flight. Like every round, it, it doesn't break in like my ESP buzzes do. Um, so this is definitely a steeple in my bag. Shout out to Paige Pierce. And then I've got two more buzzes. Um, this was my first buzz. Um, I've only been playing for about nine months now, but uh, this was my first one, so it's real beat in. Um, you can do highs or flip to flat, uh, flat, kind of a little bit of turn. Um, but really, also like whatever line I kind of hold it or throw it on, it, it'll hold that. Whereas this one, and I rotate out my more, my new buzzes uh, to be my more overstable buzzes. So this one, I can throw on a little bit of any and it'll hold it, kind of come out and fade a little bit less. Uh, but see, I'm constantly cycling out at least a buzz. Um, Meteor is sort of on the same boat for me as that Page Pierce Fierce. Um, I don't really throw it a whole lot off the tee as an understable mid. This is more of like a, if I'm deep in the woods somewhere and I need a huge ante line to get out, uh, I'll throw this and it just kind of holds it and, and gets me out of trouble. <coughs> Oh, I did have one more pig that, that apparently we, we forgot. So you'll notice a trend. I love love my pigs. I actually did bag four, and friend's dog got to one of them. It was my all-time favorite one. Um, but this one, just a couple more throws at some solid trees, and it'll be at the uh, same level that blue one was at. Um, so to finish off my mid-ranges, this is the, the cream of the crop right here, guys. Um, 
I'm gonna, you might hear this name a couple more times throughout this video. But, so Bobcat Buckley uh, introduced me to this Frisbee here, and I have fallen in love. Um, I don't like throwing a lot of understable stuff, and I certainly don't like throwing a lot of mid-ranges, but this is a DGA Ice Flex Tremor, and it is absolute money. Uh, I threw it five times. I think before I got my first ace with it, hole one at uh, Robbins Park. So not even the easiest, just nice backhand. I can throw this thing at about that angle, and it'll just flip up, just hold it. It just It's so much fun to play around with. If you haven't thrown an Ice Flex Tremor, I strongly urge everyone to get out and try one, if you can find one, because I'm pretty sure Bobcat holds most of the market in Ice Flex Tremors. <clears throat> All right. Next, we're going to jump into my drivers. Um, so right here, I've got uh, a couple of Zeus's. This is going to be a max weight Zeus, also one of my uh, first discraft distance drivers I ever got. Um, so this is my more beat-in one. Um, I use it for mostly backhands. Um, some flicks if I or sidearm shots uh, that I want to sort of flip up and ride over a little bit and then finish right. Uh, that'll, that'll go for that one, but I do like to throw this back in more so. Um, for sidearms, I disc down a little bit to 167 weight. Um, just get a lot, a lot more arm speed out of it for me. Um, and they're absolutely money. I love the Zeus. Uh, I do have one more uh, max weight Zeus. Um, this one's just going to be a little bit beefier. Um, yeah, just doesn't quite get that, that flip up that uh, my more beat them on it will get. It just kind of goes straight, finishes right. Maybe a little bit of left, but but not a whole lot. Uh, that'll do it with that. <clears throat> Next, we got uh, the Raptors. So I bag a first run Raptor, which in my hand feels a lot like, uh, like a Firebird, um, like a, a Star Firebird. Um, Throw this a lot, a lot of flicks. I don't really backhand the Raptor a lot. Uh, a lot of sidearm shots. Um, gets a nice skip flare if I want it to, or if I put it on a little bit more high there, it's going to just spike right down into the ground and stick. Um, and then the Tour Series, Ulibari Raptor. Uh, this, for me, is just a little bit straighter flying than the first run Raptor. I'm just going to get a little bit more distance out of it. Um, gets a little bit of ground play, though, and I love that about it. I know I'm going to get a good skip, uh, so if I just kind of hold the line that I want it on, Hopefully it's right up to the basket for money. So we got two more here. Um, so right here we've got, you're going to hear this name one more time, folks. We've got the Streamline Lift. Uh, and tell me that's not probably one of the prettiest lifts you'll ever see from the MVP Open. Um, this is another one of those discs that uh, I think there was one day I, I was like, Bobcat, just take all my discs out of my bag. I want to go to Hornet's Nest and I want to throw discs I've never thrown before. And, this is one that as soon as I threw it once, it was in the bag. Uh, I knew it. I threw it all day. Um, anything I wanted from foot to flat um, to just a little bit of hyzer, and it can bend that line and then come back. Um, I, I, I absolutely love this disc. Another one that if you haven't thrown it, I urge you to get out and try one. They're lots of fun. Um, and it just feels great in the hand. I love the plastic. It's absolutely money. Got a uh, Streamline Trace. Um, so when I first bagged it, I was told it was very similar to a race. Um, that's not exactly the result I've gotten from it. It's one that I'm still kind of working with. Um, but I certainly haven't decided to not, or to kick it out of the bag. Um, for me, I, I like to, to sidearm it. Um, and it has a little bit less of that uh, turny play that the Zeus's will have. But other than that, most of the flight characteristics uh, are the same. So it just it's a lot more straight flying for me, I guess. Uh, and you get a, less of that 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 airplay that that turn and then and then fade back and we've got three more for you so we're getting into the flippier drivers now um we're gonna start with the thrasher um so i bag a discraft thrasher this is by far one of my favorite flippiest discs of all time um i'm actually pretty sure that uh the hades yeah the hades and the Thrasher have the same um, flight chart numbers, but they fly completely different for me. Um, so I, when I first started, I, I bagged the, uh, the Hades um, for all my stock flip-up shots. That was what I did. Um, 
And then I, I recently learned that the Thrasher just has a little bit um, more room for a little bit faster arm speed. And so as I'm kind of progressing as a player, um, I've learned that this one is a little bit more trusty for me. Again, it's going to be that, that hyzer flip to flat, a little bit of fade, and then it'll kind of hold that uh, if I do it just right. Hole one, Hornet's Nest. I recently played a tournament there. Um, out of the MPO, MA2, MA1, MA3 fields, I was the only one to do it. Um, and that was all Thrasher all day. Circle one from the, uh, from the same tee pad that they throw in the Tour Championship. Uh, never did I think that I would get there, but by God, I did, and I do it. So Thrasher will forever be in my bag. The Hades, um, yeah. So if, if I need something that's that's really going to like chew up a lot of distance on an Anheuser route backhand, this is what I'm going to throw. Um, I, I, I've i loved this disc. I used to bag three. Um, I'm now down to two. Um, and they're actually, they're completely different than what I originally had thrown, but um, I don't throw it as much, but it's great for a backhand roller. Um, great for a, a very drastic Anheuser route. I absolutely love the Hades. And just look how beautiful all that swirl is. Gotta love this grass swirl. And then this is kind of, this one I, I never really understood. So I lost a lightweight Hades uh, in 167 weight. And so I went to another round um, to pick up another one. And they had all weight ranges on either side. So I was like, you know what? Let's have fun with this one. I think this is like a 160 grams. And I don't know why, but for some reason, it just doesn't turn over like this Hades does. It, it kind of rides a, a whole lot straighter of a route. Um, and it's just very glidey. And I, I, I can't explain why. I've thrown others in the same weight and they don't have the same flight pattern at all. But uh, this one, yeah, I don't know what I would do if I lost it because I don't think I could just get out, go out and get another 160 gram Hades and have, have the same results with it. Um, I'd be lost without you. And then last but not least, and uh, probably my most least, least used disc is the, uh, the Nuke OS. Uh, this is if I need to flick, and I am in the, the strongest headwind uh, that you've ever seen. Uh, I can backhand it into that headwind, um, and I know it's not going to flip over on me or anything like that. Um, or if I am just in a situation where it's a complete dogleg right, and I need to flick, um, I know that this meat hook is going to get to the bucket. So that's also forever in the bag. Useful tool. Uh, thank you guys for joining me in my 2021 in the bag, and uh, hope to see you out on the course.